Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a little video just on dedicated to the brand B Lab, which is a good K Beauty brand. And I didn't know this, but apparently they are the brand that created the I'm Sorry for My Skin line or like the I'm Sorry Just Cleansing, those products. And they call it B Lab because it stands for the four B's Better Life, Best Ingredients, B with Nature, and something else. There's four of them B, Best. Best life, best ingredients, best environment, best prices. Anyway, so I thought I'd talk a little about the brand because I've reviewed a lot of their products. I think most of them. So uh, let me just start out with uh, their sunscreen. Their matcha hydrating sunscreen line. I think so far most of their products are the matcha hydrating line. And they came out with the sunscreen, which is really wonderful. I was really surprised by it. There's no white cast. Uh, it feels like a nice lotion texture. It has a nice amount of filters in there. Uh, it does have a decent amount of uh, denatured alcohol in there, which I'm starting to get over for sunscreens. Maybe not so much for other products, but for sunscreens, I'm going to let it slide because I think it ends up working, uh, allowing the sunscreen to absorb faster and work better. So um, anyway, this one's really nice, really affordable, well worth a try. And if you want me to review it, let me know and I can certainly do that. Uh, they came out with a cleansing oil, which I was really excited about until I actually used it the first time. I was so excited about it. It's so affordable. I will say the bottle's little. It's a little guy. It's a little baby bottle. It's like three ounces. So compared to like some of the larger bottles of oil makeup removing cleansers. This one actually looks gigantic, but this is only like a half an ounce more. Anyway, well, whatever. Point not made well. Uh, otherwise, it is so light, uh, it just doesn't stick on the skin long enough to really, really get in there and remove a lot of stuff unless you use a washcloth with it. When, emuls when it emulsifies, when you uh, mix it with the water, it just rinses so fast as well. So I found if I use this with a washcloth, or uh, it helps, but it's just so light textured. And it also... Even if you look at the ingredient list, you can't really tell because I didn't tell when I bought it. It has a very light scent of some fruit that's in here, which is uncharacteristic of this brand because so far everything else I've tried from them hasn't had fragrance in it, but this one does have a scent. So that was a little bit of a bummer, but whatever. Uh, their toner, their matcha hydrating toner is great. I mean, it's a good product. It's nothing overly exciting. It's not a game changer like the uh, I'm from rice toner or anything, but it's a good, uh, pretty short ingredient list, friendly toner and pretty affordable as well. Um, nothing mind blowing again, but it's a decent, reliable. I know it's not going to irritate my skin. It might not be as brightening as some other products, but it's decent and reliable, and sometimes that's just what you need, so. Okay, Matcha Hydrating Foam Cleanser, which is just about done, and you can see my nice uh, patchwork on it when it exploded. Uh, but I actually, this is what got me into the brand, is this. This is my first product I ever tried from them. I hadn't uh, been into huge, like, foam cleansers, and I was also at the time using the Crave uh, Cleanser, which was really wonderful. I think they call it their green tea cleanser, whatever, craze cleanser is wonderful. I thought this would be a good dupe looking at the ingredient list. It's totally different, but in a good way. After I used it a few days, the first time I used it, I hated it because I was expecting something different. And then after that, I just started to really enjoy it and use it more and more. And now I really like it. And once I finish it, I'll certainly repurchase it. And you know what? It's, it's, a, it's a tough cleanser, but it doesn't dry out your skin or anything. But it's so... Uh, tough that it does a pretty good job if you're just wanting to do like a one-step quick cleanse if you're feeling kind of lazy. It does a pretty good job with it. So, and even better if you use it with like a Foreo device or something else. So, there we go. Certainly something to keep on your radar. B-Lab has several sheet masks. I'm not a huge sheet mask person, to be honest. I think I got a set of them for free and I've had a chance to try a couple of them and they were all fine. Um, some people like sheet masks more. Uh, I mean, they don't have fragrance in them, which is nice, but otherwise, I don't know, for three bucks, I'd just rather put that towards like a rinse off mask or something else or a sleeping mask. Because sometimes it just feels like, yeah, it's just kind of a waste. Three bucks and it's gone. And then, yeah. Okay, and then last but not least, I think up until, well, today, 
This is still their most new product, which is their Matcha Clear Ampule, which is a wonderful daytime uh, ampule. It's a, got a serum gel texture to it, which is wonderful. Lots of good skin protecting ingredients in there. So uh, if you're looking for a good daytime or evening serum, this one is just wonderful. So well worth a try. I'm so happy I picked it up because I wasn't at first just because I'm like, I don't need more stuff to try, but I'm glad because I really am happy with it. And I am certainly review it in a month or so or a uh, couple weeks so anyway keep that in mind so anyway so those are my uh best and worst from b lab not best and worst just everything from b, b lab which they're all pretty darn good overall in the scheme of things so a nice uh little collection they've got going i wonder what else they'll do with it i'm interested so Anyway, interested in hearing from you guys if you've tried anything from B Lab or their I'm Sorry for My Skin or I'm Sorry is Cleansing products. So, leave a comment, love hearing from you guys, and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye, guys.